Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors. Uh, it is Tuesday, the 21st of January in the year 2020. Uh, this is the State and City Council regular meeting, second meeting in January. It is 7 p.m. Let's call the meeting to order. And would you join me in a flag salute? This takes a second now. Just hold on to her, Newt. There. You can still do that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, okay, thank you, folks. Uh, announcements. Are there any additions to the agenda? I don't hear any. There are any declarations of ex-party contact, conflicts of interest, bias, et cetera, and so forth. Anyone? Mr. Mayor? Yes. Didn't you have an addition to the agenda? I'm sorry? Did you have an addition to the agenda? I was going to do that one just under comments from the mayor. Okay. Later on. I mean, that's, you know, uh, if that's, that's okay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not really an agenda item anyway. There aren't any appointments this evening. Under public ugh, public comments, uh, Bob Ledford, uh, would you? Can you give the microphone? Yes, tell us who you are, where you live, and what would you like to talk about? Hello, Bob Ledford, like I said, I'm a longtime resident of Staten, live up on Pine Street. Someday we'll be talking about the development that's been proposed up there, but I know that's not uh, something tonight. I just I don't want to take anybody's time. I just want to introduce myself. Um, I'm a, like I said, I'm a longtime resident of the city of Staten. Currently in the uh, uh, running for or put an application for police captain, and I just wanted to do a brief introduction to myself, oh, wow. and that I'm looking forward to serving the community. I started my career here in Staten. I recognize some of you uh, from a long time ago. So anyway, I don't want to waste your time, but thank you very much for the opportunity, That's and right. I like to see what's going on here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Maybe you don't remember it's been a while. All right. Thank you, Russ. Russ Strohmeyer. Never heard of the applicants. Russ Strohmeyer, 325 West Washington Street. Um, I came up here just because I don't want you to forget about me. Oh. No, really. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> as much as you may try. <laughs> Uh, just a couple things come up by the, in my mind. Uh, one of them is uh, something I brought up during the chat with the counselor about a month and a half ago. Um, if there was a plan, uh, what's going to happen if homeless start moving into state and in droves? I mean, if we start getting um, homeless camping on our streets, our sidewalks, our you know parking lots, um, I'm hoping that the city has a plan to address that issue. Um, if it's left to go too long, it's going to be like Salem and there's no point of return. And I know we chatted about it and it was like we have to educate these people and, and start when they're young and I do agree with that and don't think I'm without compassion. A lot of people have been helping this one gentleman that's around town now and that's great but I do think that there needs to be a serious plan that the city of Staten has to have uh, if we have that problem. If they get pushed out of Salem, they're going to go somewhere. And if Staten's an easy mark, we just need to have a plan of what's going to happen if that happens. And I just wanted to address that issue. And then the uh, second is just a question. I'm just curious why the public comments section was taken out of the agenda later on in the meeting. Um, to me, it seems like if you're encouraging public comment and pl public participation, that there may be items that come up during the agenda that someone would like to address after the fact, and they wouldn't be able to do that. So uh, that's my question. I'm curious why that was taken out, and I hope that'll be reconsidered. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Russ. Second. I'm making a note here before we call up uh, Aaron Frichtel. Aaron? Yeah. Hi, Aaron Frichtel. My residence is 12326 Golf Lane Southeast Sublimity. 
Oregon. And I uh, also have a building downtown, 400 North 3rd, right beside the police station. Uh, I'm representing RDS, uh, Revitalized Downtown Staten, the Economic Vitality Committee. I'm the chair of that, and uh, I'm excited to talk with you guys. Uh, it's nice to be able to figure out ways to bring people to Staten and uh, to make our downtown core something that's positive. And we did a survey uh, last summer in 2019, and we asked a few questions of different people. We didn't get a um, we didn't get everybody. We wanted to get more people, uh, and uh, that they were mainly consisting of building owners, uh, business owners, people that were working in the businesses as well. And we tried to get a lot of good uh, good ideas that we could formulate some plans going forward. And some of the things that we were looking at were the impediments to business success downtown. And uh, one, uh, a few things I'd like to point out in our survey that we found, that uh, there was neglect with some of the buildings. And uh, some of that, I'm pleased to report, is turning around with uh, the grant that, that uh, we got, uh, as RDS got, and uh, spearheaded some of, the, some of the design improvements that are downtown. And it influenced me to, to work on my building as well. And, um, and so I'm really looking forward to that being done. Another thing was traffic and lack of customers coming downtown. And so some of the things that we have been looking at with RDS is putting marker signs, bringing people or notifying them that there is a downtown that they can come to. And uh, so that's been something that we've looked at. We're also uh, exploring uh, new initiatives in web, uh, web and uh, print advertising that would enable uh, some of our people downtown to uh, know about specials or, or actually highlight a business once a month and uh, something that I think is a great thing to do. Uh, and then generally a, a lack of business knowledge too and so that's also something that's near and dear to my heart that uh, I think that we can support businesses and, and give them the resources that uh, that help them succeed. And uh, one of the things that, that's a concern is is the lack of the, the the one that was up in the canyon that now is no longer part of our area. So uh, some of the facilitators of business, uh, they like the small town charm and uh, word of mouth from the community, uh, whether it's people that are that are customers, but also the business uh, the business people as well, and uh, fostering more events and communication. Uh, people like to see uh, the growth and population that's happening and uh, in the marketing to that population. And uh, some of the reasons why people like to be here is that they, they like the location, they like the idea of being close to some of the services, whether it be the library, the post office, the credit unions, banks, that sort of thing. But um, they're also interested in uh, potential for growth and expansion in, in some of the opportunities that are in the area. Am I out of time? Oh. Clock watchers, is she out of time? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's good though, thank you. Yeah, there's. I'd love to talk with you more. Feel free to contact me at RDS or if you see me downtown working on the, the green building. So We're here twice a month. All right. That's six minutes a month. Uh, that would be good. I'll come, come back. Come, I'll come back. Come down. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Two? Hmm? <laughs> I thought it was three times two. Not six? I don't know. I don't keep a track of it very well on purpose. Okay, uh, was that it for comments from the public? Okay, let's go on then. Uh, the next item is business. This is a, well, we'll see. Uh, consent agenda for the sixth. Everyone have a chance to look at that? Mr. Mayor, I move that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Okay. Is there a second, please? Second. A motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as given. Um, everyone's had a chance to look at it. Would uh, You've heard the motion and the second. Would all in favor say aye? Aye. 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 Okay. Opposed? Same sign. Hearing none, we'll declare the passed and the consent agenda approved. The meet and potatoes of the business tonight is a public hearing on ordinance number 1042 vacating the remaining portion of an alley between North 2nd Avenue and North 3rd Avenue north of East Hollister Street and commencement of public hearing 
get the script here. Uh, public hearing and opening statement. Uh, let's see. The hearing is now open. Good evening. My name is Hank Porter, and as mayor, I'll be presiding over this hearing. This is the time and place set for the public hearing in the matter of land use file number 14-11-19, a city initiated proposal to vacate the remaining portion of the alley between North 2nd Avenue and North 3rd Avenue running north from East Hollister Street. The hearing is now open. That's what this was for. A copy of the map showing the area proposed to be vacated is available at the back counter. Also at the back counter is the agenda for this evening's meeting, which lays out the order in which people will be called on to speak during the public hearing, the city's rules of procedure for public land use hearings, and a brochure written to facilitate your participation in the public hearing. You're encouraged to obtain and read a copy of these documents as well. This time I'd like to ask the audience if there's any objections to the notice that was provided for this hearing. And I don't hear any to the jurisdiction of this body to hear and consider the case. Don't hear any objections there either. Uh, are there any declarations of conflict of interest, ex parte contact, or bias by any members of this body? I hear none. And now we're ready for the staff report. Mr. Fleischman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, members of the public. Uh, the issue before you tonight is a public hearing on a city-initiated proposal to vacate a portion of the alleyway. You, those of you who were here sitting on the dais uh, may recall back in November, uh, you uh, adopted a resolution uh, to begin this process. Um, going back to, to 2017, the city vacated a portion of this alley uh, at the upon uh, an application by one of the property owners. State law requires that when a property owner adjacent to a street or alley requests that the city vacate it, that that application needs to include the written consent from all of the abutting property owners. And at that time in 2017, there was one property owner who did not grant consent. They did not object, but they just never responded to any of the multiple inquiries saying, please sign this uh, so, that we, so that the alley can be vacated. So at that time, not the complete alley in this block was not vacated, but the north 150 feet was leaving 50 feet of alley at the south end of the block. This year we received a request from one of the two abutters to that remaining portion of the alley asking if the alley could be vacated. It was not a formal application because they couldn't get the person, the person across the alley to sign off. So uh, the Planning Commission discussed this issue at their October meeting. We brought Resolution 997 to the Council at your uh, one of your November meetings uh, and you approve that resolution initiating the vacation. Uh, the Planning Commission held a hearing at their December 9th meeting. Notice was sent to all of the potentially affected property owners. A uh, sign was posted in the alley prior to that hearing. There was no testimony opposed to vacating the alley at the Planning Commission's hearing. Notice of tonight's hearing was again mailed to all of the affected property owners. Uh, this afternoon, might have been this morning, today, uh, one of the owners of a, a property in that block came in with a letter that you've got in front of you uh, supporting vacating the remainder of the alley. Uh, the alley itself has no this remaining portion of the alley, the entire alley, had no public utilities, no private franchise utilities located in it. This portion is, has been maintained as lawn by the neighboring property owners. Um, and uh, so the recommendation uh, from the Planning Commission following their December public hearing 
was to vacate the remaining portion of the alley and that is the recommendation from staff as well. You've got in your packet a draft of Ordinance 1042, which if enacted would vacate this last 50 feet of this alley. So I will answer any questions you may have and then open it up to public testimony. Okay. Uh, Dan, we'll go to questions from the council in a second, but one from the chair. Does Ed Hansen's letter need to be read into the record or is that... It's I, 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 it, you're welcome to read it, oh, it's not but no, I don't think it needs to be read okay. into the record. It, is, it right. is there. It will be part of the record. Okay, thank you. Uh, questions from the council? Yeah, question. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> council? Um, just out of curiosity, the, is this section of alleyway uh, bisected by the property line there, or is it completely contained by one of those two properties that sit next to? Under state law, when we vacate the alley, it will be split in two. Okay. And um, most of the alleys in the city are 16 feet wide. I believe this one is only 15 feet wide. So each of the neighboring uh, properties will expand by seven and a half feet. Gotcha. Okay, that's all. Okay. Other questions? Anything? Okay. Mr. Uh, Mayor. Yeah, here we go. Dan, when you sent out this notice, the um, that original property owner that didn't respond, they didn't respond. I have I've had no contact with him. Okay. With uh, with any of the notices. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Uh, persons in favor. No, you you need um, public testimony. You're still at questions. Yeah. Oh, oh, persons in favor. I thought I'm, you were asking I'm going for a off vote. my I'm script sorry. here. Dan. I wasn't listening. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm trying to trying to do this, you know, instead of trying to do I'll, it the right I'll, way. Instead of my usual fumble. fumble you're doing good, fumble. Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Keep it yes. up. You're good. <laughs> okay, persons in favor. <laughs> we'll get it. No, I usually mess this up, so it's that's good to be. <laughs> I'm used to that. No, I'm. That's fine. Um, persons opposed. Other interested persons in this? Uh, more questions from the council? A staff summary. I have nothing more to add. You've got the draft of the ordinance in front of you. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and close the hearing then and go to council deliberation. What would you folks like to do with this? This seems fairly straightforward. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the first consideration. Uh, is it first consideration? Or is it second consideration? This is our first? This is the first time oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I just have heard Resolution. this one come before. Okay, sorry. Um, I move to approve the first consideration of ordinance 1042 as presented. Okay. All right. I'll second. A motion and a second then to, to approve the first consideration of Ordinance 1042. Uh, Council deliberation. Well, that's, yeah, All right. we, we're under deliberation. Anything? Um, then, Mr. Mayor. Yes. I just, I just wanted to make it clear because we're, we're kind of like rushing through this one. Like, I, I'm very... I'm well versed on this because I've seen it before. We've all kind of been talking about it, except for maybe uh, our new counselor. But um, that is why it probably seems rushed. So just so you guys know, uh, I feel confident in it. <laughs> well, agree. I don't know. Are we, we're not rushing, are we? Yeah, we are. That's <laughs> good. Though. Fast. I like the. I like. Yeah. That's a good word. Yeah. We're rushing. Yeah. Slow down. Get on it. <laughs> I mean. Okay. Wow. Uh, council decision. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Alyssa, would you pull the council, please, on this one? Sure. Councilor Patty. Yes. Councilor Mullen. Yes. Councilor Hook. Yes. Councilor Ort. Yes. Councilor McDonald. Yes. Motion passed five to zero. Okay. And Dan will. That will be back. For a final consent. Oh, no, no, that's it. It's it's unanimous. Unanimous. So, das ist alles. All right. Good. 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 Do you have a 
There's no general business tonight under communications Just, from myself. Mr. Mayor, oh. I think you need to read the closing statement. The closing statement. Oh yes, thank you. I need gotcha. that. The council's action may be appealed within 21 days of the mailing of the notice of decision to the Land Use Board of Appeals under Oregon Revised Statute 197.805 through 855. Anyone aggrieved by the council's actions should consult with their own legal counsel regarding an appeal of this decision. Bingo, got that. Moving right along. Um, from the chair tonight, uh, I don't expect anyone, well, who knows? I don't expect anyone else here to be uh, railroad junkies like I am. Um, but this is a letter from uh, Kevin Mannix, who, um, if you've been around for a while, know who he is, uh, has been a player in Salem area, Mid Valley politics for a long time. Uh, it's got a group that is proposing to buy the Willamette Valley Railroad and not just lease it from the Union Pacific, which is where it's at now, but to buy it, rolling stock, ground, rails, tracks, bridges, overpasses, um, and whatever, buy it from the UP. And uh, these guys, in their letters at least, they think they can make money at it. And of course it runs from Woodburn clear down here. It hooks onto the main UP line at Woodburn. And uh, the thing has been Def almost defunct for, oh God, at least the last. Keith, when you got here in 14, 13, was it running at all then? No, it had, there was a washout between Almsville and Shaw and a, a bridge over across Silverton, Silver Creek and Silverton that's got a bunch of uh, lead-based paint on it, and that needs to be, there's some issues. There are some issues. Uh, that plus, that plus most of the shippers, are, well that curtailed service down here because uh, uh, you couldn't run, you couldn't run stock over it um, because of that, mostly that washout. Uh, between Shaw and Almsville. So these guys think they can make a go of this and they've asked for a letter of support which um, I'm okay with it. I wanted to show it to you guys. It's It was addressed to me but you know just show it to all you folks. Uh, again, uh, nothing may come of this they think they want to do it. They've assured me we had some concerns that that their business plan didn't extend the line down past, oh, probably not even, just barely to Silverton. And uh, this is mostly a freight line. This isn't passenger. And uh, it has the state has put a couple of million dollars into this thing over the years and not got much back. When they do ship, they've put surcharges on cars, which means whatever it takes to ship a rail car of something, somewhere, there's an extra two, three, five, seven hundred dollars on top of that. And that's made it uh, pretty difficult for a lot of folks to justify. Um, people like Red Build out here shipping these long laminated beams, uh, modern building systems in Omsville with the, the modular buildings. Uh, they think they'd like to use it but, uh, you know, there's a point at which shipping by rail isn't, isn't the way to go. People want stuff on time. And 
if I can get a truckload of something to Atlanta, what, three days? Anyone familiar with shipping? Probably no more than three days. It takes longer than that. I mean, I, I, okay, you guys are shipping stuff yeah. all the time. Yeah. I mean, it takes us five days to get to Utah, for heck's sake. I mean, to get to Utah? It's <laughs> truck shipping? Uh, it takes a lot longer than you think. Just It's not more, a lot more than just driving time. Uh, okay. But, yeah. Okay. With rail, you can't even count on that, though, can right. you? Yeah. Um, if it's a week to Salt Lake, four or five days, it may be seven or eight. By, or 10 by rail. Right. So it's kind of fallen out of favor as a way to ship things, except shipping bulk cargo, It's uh, it can be cost effective. And uh, most of us would put that, as far as a way to move things, probably down on a list. What, maybe three, four, five? Imagine where on the list barge traffic would be. <laughs> what? Barge? <laughs> Who ships by barge? Well, talk to those Eastern Oregon, Washington wheat farmers, and they'll tell you about shipping by barge and what happens when they close one of the locks at Bonneville Dam to repair it. And guess what happens to those barges? They can't get downriver. Yeah. This last uh, last fall, we saw a lot of that. It was all over. So anyway, I, I dither and prattle. I'm sorry. Um, it's just a letter of support, whether it does anything or goes anywhere. Um, I'd like to send it back just because. I, I like the idea of railroads. I don't think it ob obliges us to do anything. Um, sometimes I don't see the whole great big picture in things. And uh, there may be some, some hidden things that might bite us, but I hope not. Keith, what do you think? I think we should see if the council would be supportive of you uh, signing and, okay. and, and there doing. we go. There we go. Are you folks okay with me signing this and sending it back? Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, I am not in favor of you signing this and sending it back. Um, I'm aware of the of the project. Um, I'd like to know a lot more about what it is going to do for our community specifically before we do a letter of support for um, something like this. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's uh, that's a fairly yeah yeah. Well, I'd like to know too. I, I even had I've had a couple of conversations with Kevin Mannix, in which he assured me. Um, that uh, they intended to restore service clear down the line to us, but you know it's going to take a, some some major work and uh, to overcome the concerns that one of our neighboring communities has uh, about the thing going through their town. So uh, it has, yeah. There's there's reasons to. Uh, be concerned and and want to know a lot more about this, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, is there any way that we could get a representative here to do a presentation for the city council for the people? Well, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this is so important to them. Uh, he says in this this latest missive, uh, there's actually another letter newer than this in which he has uh, support from what? The county commissioners in six cities? I don't know that there's six cities on the line. I think so. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is go this ahead. While I dig around in my okay. correspondence here. Um, Keith, I don't know how, I know that for us as a council, like if we wanted to um, back something as a council, we obviously have to get, um, you know, everybody on the same page but is that the same with the mayor if like, for a letter of support coming from the mayor okay. um, to use his official title what we need is the majority of the council to approve him to you know yeah. to authorize him to sign the letter of support on behalf of the city okay because as an individual he could sign it but he couldn't sign it as the mayor yeah. unless uh, like i said a majority of the council voted to, to 
to authorize him to do so. Okay. I'm just and that's for everything that, okay, I wanted to make sure that we're all the same I just thought it was about. kind of considerate to ask what you folks thought of it. it just I, seemed like I would a like nice to, I would like to have a representative come because I don't know enough about it to, okay. to say yes or no. Mr. Mayor. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I think for me, it's it's really a thing of I've I've seen presentations on this. Uh, it has to do with uh, Brooks also, which is where their main um, depot is going to be, uh, where they're going to do all the trucking out of Brooks. Um, I have a lot of like concerns about like what it's going to do outside of our community for our commuters on the on I-5 um, with those the, the severe increase of trucks coming in that way. And then we're kind of at the end of the line, so. Uh, giving a, a letter of support um, when we don't know how it's going to serve our community, it, it feels like we should know a lot more about what specifically, yeah. how is it going to help our, our community before we put our name behind something to get something to be moved forward that for all we know could end up a disaster and not affect our community and not help our community at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mayor. What the councilors mentioned here in passing is this idea of an intermodal tie-in uh, at Brooks, which this group is proposing also, and that's where you take individual cars and hook them into, hook them onto the UP uh, main line, and uh, that's kind of the coming thing with small shippers that uh, can get into the big main rail hubs. Uh, they don't want a car from Red Build or Modern Building Systems. They don't want a car. They're not going to pick it up in Woodburn and hook it onto a hundred car train. It needs to be somehow worked in there. So yeah, there's there's a lot to this. But anyway, other comments and thoughts? Ben? Yeah, I would, I would just say I would agree with Councilor Hook on pretty much all points. I would, I would definitely like to see the plan um, without knowing anything else other, other than what was just said here today. Sure. Um, yeah, just I want, I want to see the full prospectus of what their what their okay. project looks like, and and uh, you know if if they're if they've got interest from businesses in our community and what kind of what kind of okay all right what will result David? from that. Mr. Mayor, I'd also love to hear from these people. As okay. I don't know much about rail travel, I'll be quite frank with you. Um, I think that having someone in here and understanding what their business model looks like and what value they add to Staten would be extremely useful for me in voting to support you on this. Okay. So if you can swing that, that would be excellent for our education alone. So thank you. All right. Become, all of us become railroad junkies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. Thank you, folks. Uh, let's see. That's that's all I've got. Ed, anything from uh, any of the yes, rest Mr. of Mayor. you? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, I I don't know if I can just make a motion, but I would like to make a motion um, to add a public comment section at the end of the meeting um, before the communications from the mayor and counselors, and change and. And also move to change um, the persons in favor and persons opposed to saying public comment from persons in favor, public comment from persons opposed, so that the audience knows that that's their their turn instead of uh, thinking that we're voting in favor or opposed. Hmm. Can you say that last part again? Yeah. Uh, well, right now, when it's read off as persons in favor, um, I can see someone in the audience thinking that that's like counselors in favor uh, and that we're going straight to voting um, and not realizing they get to stand up and, yeah. and speak at that point. And so I did, I just adding public comment from persons in favor, public okay. comment from persons opposed. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay that's fine, yeah. I'm just reading it the way they put it in front of me. But I don't know. If yeah, we, we can do it. We can do it other ways. Sure. Well, I think if the council wants to bring back the council rules um, with those recommended changes, we could definitely, for a future agenda item, uh, do that. You know, if there's a majority yeah. of the council that would like to see that item come forward, um, okay. uh, we can bring back the council rules uh, with that suggestion and then talk about that. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to second uh, Councilor Hook's motion. Okay. All right. 
Um, um, any discussion? Ms. Mayor, can I, yeah. I'd like to make an amendment to the motion um, okay. to add uh, that first we'll bring back the council rules to uh, consider those changes. Yeah. Since it says that he says we have to bring back first. Okay, so reconsideration of council rules to reflect changes in the agenda. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of it? Yeah, so only I mean, a second for the amended motion. Okay. Seconded amended motion. Okay. All right. Um, any other discussion on the, on the amendment? I had a note about if we wanted to add a second, uh, if we wanted to add the second public comment back in, how would we go about doing that? So, okay. We just did. I think that's part of so, uh, Councillor's motion, I think. Yeah. No, I know, but I'm just yeah. saying I, I'm agreeing because that was in my notes. Okay. Yeah, I saw us all like picking our heads. All right. Could we have a, well, and I, I, seeing how, you know, I, I know that we um, obviously agreed on the council rules, but then seeing it actually in motion and going through it and um, it gets a little confusing because I, I, we understand that the public comment time isn't a back and forth, but I, I can see how frustrating it is when we just say thank you and then move on and then it seems like nothing happens. Some people leave um, and don't realize that at the end um, it might get talked about during this time. And so I can, I can see how that can build some frustration. And then also it gives the opportunity, um, like a comment was made, um, can revisit a subject. Um, I would like to, I don't know, figure out the rules on how many times someone can come up to the microphone. Mm -hmm. um, because it, if we're trying to be, if we're trying to make sure that everyone gets the same amount of time, you know, we can't have someone going up again and again and again. So right. just clarifying that as well is something I'd like to see. I agree with Councilor Ort. I'd like to see that too when we revisit this. Let all voices heard be heard. Let all flowers bloom. <laughs> Mr. Mayor. I sort of like, you know, that's, yeah. But I also sense or echo your I'd like to ask somebody sometimes, well, can you clarify that point? The back and forth in those comments from the public sometimes. I know I'm out of order. No, nope. no, no, I'm sorry. Mr. Mayor, point order. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Russ. Strict bunch here. Uh, okay, so is uh, a voice vote on the amendment, please? On the motion, motion and an amendment? No, just the amendment. Just the amendment. Uh, approve your amendment. Yeah, there's a motion to second. And then you've got it. The second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was So second. we're doing the amendment first. Mm -hmm. yeah. One more comment first. Go please. ahead. Um, <clears throat> I agree with what we're amending here. I think um, I would also like to see. Um, in the spirit of letting flowers bloom, um, uh, not specifically a discussion uh, with the public, but um, maybe just a um, kind of formally defined opportunity for the council to ask questions of those public commenters. Um, I think I, I think um, there's going to be a line we got to draw there, which which you know Kate Bell back and forth too much because it's going to waste time, especially on certain subjects that can just go on forever. But um, I think it would be nice to have an opportunity to, for me to ask a specific question, get a specific answer, and let that be done. Um, so I don't know how you define that in the rules. Um, but I, I, even in my short time here already, I think I would like that opportunity. Okay. Okay. Mr. Mayor, I think it would just be good for us to look over the rules anyway just um, so that we know how we can utilize them the best now that some of us have been you know counselors for a little while we've got you know get, getting getting the hang of like how it works um, so just making sure that we're utilizing all of the the tools that we have available to us during the meetings Mr. Mayor mm -hmm. um, I just want to go ahead and say something to the audience here uh, oftentimes it may seem extremely frustrating to go up there and give public comment without us responding to you and let you let us tell you it is equally frustrating not to be able to say something to you however 
that does derail the meeting oftentimes if there's a back and forth between us and the comment because commenter excuse me so this meeting is intended to conduct council business and hear from people but not necessarily a back and forth and i highly encourage you all to seek us out outside of here we all have email addresses we all have phone numbers and we're all extremely willing to meet you outside of here so that's not the only way to get in touch with us. You don't only have six minutes with us. You have as much time as I can spare. And if my wife and kids are okay with it, I'll, I will make the effort to come out and talk to you. So I just wanted to put that out there in the public sphere to understand and digest. Six minutes and two meetings. No. That's absolutely true. I mean, you can write me a novel and email and I will read it. I'm, so I'm on my phone all day long, so I will read it. <laughs> what we sometimes wish for, and probably isn't possible is the the classic was the New England town meeting <coughs> where the whole community got together and hashed over who was as somebody who spent 27 <laughs> years living in New England okay you do not wish for that <laughs> really really but no all the all the business gets done and all the cranks get to talk well, to, 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 to Dan's point, that's not the form of government we have here. We have I a council know, manager form of government. Yeah, it's wishful, so that's a it's town wishful hall thinking. Form of government. I know, yeah, I, I know. know. It's that old that old <laughs> thing that the country started with. Or, well, anyway, we'll so we're we at um, we've got an amendment to a motion, um, which is Alyssa. Can you read that back <laughs> to us? <laughs> oh boy. I honestly. Because I it's feel like got I read back what I thought because like, I'm going to watch the video the later got, to write to get exactly what it was. I believe the amended motion was directing staff to bring the council rules back with the amendments in the original motion. Mm. Yep. All right. So I got it. <laughs> Yo, okay. Uh, <laughs> and the amendments in the original motion were to were change wording and add a public comment uh, when, okay. when we read it there. Okay. So we need to vote on the amendment first, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just need to vote on right. the motion. What's that? Vote amendment motion. then motion, right? Yeah. 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 The amended motion. Okay. So all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed same sign. Hearing none, that amendment is passed. The main motion to come back at another meeting with a look at council rules. And remember that if we're unhappy with them, there are rules. So they can be changed. Yeah, if we're not, if we're not happy with them. Okay, on the main motion. Um, is there any other discussion? If not, uh, all in favor say aye, please. Aye. 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 Okay. Opposed, same sign? No? Okay. We will have discussion of council rules and and uh, comments from the public um, and further at a, another meeting. Is there anything else from any of you counselors? I have a couple of things. Okay. Uh, we had talked about revisiting our goals. Do we have anything for that in the works? The or can we? I'm sorry. Revisiting our goals that we set oh, okay. last goals. year. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have anything planned for this year. We would for next year after okay. two years. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, and then I would like to mention, Mr. Mayor, uh, since Jana's not here to do it, about the <laughs> Bruise Bites and Books this uh, Saturday from 7 to 9 p.m. I'm not going to be able to make it, but last year it was a great time, so I suggest if you are able to okay. uh, check it out. That's Saturday. Uh, you probably should announce the next uh, coffee or I know I or sauce uh, with a counselor or whatever you like you girls and guys like to do. I do not have a date set for the next okay. chat with a counselor, but we will work. We are uh, working on that. You wouldn't consider making it margaritas with a counselor, would you? Possibly, yeah. To you. I'd, make an I'd make a real effort to get to something like that. And I, I don't I know, I just stuff once in a while. <laughs> not, one, not often. Once we do want to go to different businesses, so that is, uh, we can anyway, make that happen. Okay, when you're ready, though, let yes. us know, please. Yes. Communication from city staff. 
Well, I was going to talk about bruised bites and books, but... <laughs> <laughs> I keep doing that to you. Um, actually, uh, one of your council goals, speaking of, is a facility needs assessment. Um, I am going to announce that we have set up um, a public outreach for the first meeting with that. We have um, hired a company, McKinsey, to begin that process, and the public outreach will begin Wednesday, February 12th at 6 p.m. at the library. And then that group will be here on Tuesday, which is after, um, an, again, a city council meeting after a holiday, um, February 18th, to uh, introduce themselves and to meet with the council and talk with the council about the plan. So I just wanted okay. to announce that. Um, and with that, I'll turn it back over to you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Uh, Keith, I think you and I talked about this, but it, there's some real consideration in that needs assessment of the pool, right? Uh, the main focus is going to be the Public Works Planning Office, City Hall, Police Station, uh, Community Center, Library, and the Pool is, is going to be Every, the... Everything we own, okay. The, the, well, not everything, but those are the focus, that's the focus of the needs that's, assessment. That's got a bunch of it, okay. Um, future agenda items before we go home tonight, uh, a 2019-20 fiscal year half-year update surplus properties resolution, community improvement grants, and the library, pool, and parks local option levy. Is there anything else this evening? Let's go home then, thank you.